Personally, I think they jumped the shark in season two. I mean, as much as I love watching people press a button over and over again. Your opinions are so amusing. Yeah, they amuse us. Because they are so very wrong. Wrong like Donkey Kong Schwarz. Season two was exceptional. You just did not get it. Well then, don't even get me started on season five. I mean, come on, time travel? What kind of deus ex machina bullshittery is that? The time travel was also exceptional. You just did not get it. You're slow, man! I like Desmond. Desmond is very much win. Unlike Hurley, who belongs right in the Shadow Realm. People who watch Lost will spend eternity in the seventh circle of hell. As long as Desmond is with Penelope, I don't care. Silence! Yes, silence. Everybody bow down to your digital ruler. Bow down, machachos! Hey, what part of silence don't you people understand? The part where you apologize to us for having such a horrible attitude. That part! Oh, well... In that case, I'm very sorry. That's much better. Please continue with your lame speech. Right, yes. Well, as I was saying, uh... Silence! Marek, nobody was saying anything. It was a preemptive silence. Oh, so you silenced the silence. Good job. Yes, that silence didn't know what hit it. I would now like to call this third meeting of the Evil Council of Doom to order. Before you go any further, can I ask why we're holding this meeting in Michigan? Well, our Egyptian hideout was destroyed in the last Christmas special, so we needed a change of scenery. I figured this was as good as any. Merrick, this place is home to that local anime convention, Yomacon. We're hardly inconspicuous. Precisely. It's perfect. We're hiding in plain sight. Everyone will just assume we're cosplayers. Oh, come now. We're not that evil. By the way, Bakora, your costume could use some work. What? I mean, I don't like to criticize, but it looks like your mother made that for you. This isn't a costume, Merrick. It's my clothes. Well, you could have done a better job, is all I'm saying. A better job of what? Are we actually going to defeat Yugi this time, or are we just going to prattle on about how fabulous we all look? Because I know which I'd rather do. <laughs> Do. Yeah! <laughs> I was just getting to that, Pegasus. First, I would like to introduce our newest members. May I present Steve Luna and Steve Umbris. They are both Steves of the highest caliber. You best check yourself before you wreck yourself. Ch chickity check yourself! Also joining us is famous voice actor Dan Green. Hi. I'm Dan Green. What the bloody hell is he doing here? He's not a villain. No, but I played a villain in one of the Pokemon movies. That was a good movie. Yes. Yes, it was. Hey, is Ash Ketchum a dick in real life? Merrick, you had an evil plan to discuss. What? Evil plan? What the hell are you talking about? Merrick. Oh, yes, that thing. I have concocted a plan so evil that it will make Makora look like a harmless kitten. Even more than he already does. Not a kitty. We are going to find Yugi Moto and ask him if we can borrow his puzzle. And then when he gives it to us, we don't give it back to him. Merrick, as much as I like this plan, I can't help but feel... For at least another two months. Okay, forget what I just said. Why would you want to give it back to him? That's like the best part. We'll say something like, I'll get it back to you next Tuesday, but then he won't see it for like another 78 days. He'll be so friggin' anxious. His anxiety level will be off the charts. That plan sucks. Yeah, it sucks. What are you guys anyway? A couple of rejected characters from Rugrats all grown up? That show was stupid. <laughs> the chicks were all flat. Yeah. <laughs> and they, like, use too many words. On the moon, our evil plans are far greater than your pathetic Earth plan. Our plans are all up in your face! For example, we shall capture Yugi Moto, take him to the deepest core of the moon, and then flay him with moon rope until he screams for his uncle. I thought he didn't have an uncle, man! Yes, he will scream for his uncle that does not exist. That is how bad the flaying will be. How many times do I have to tell you people? There will be no flaying! Not after what happened to Bob. He was a sacrifice the island demanded. And no more lost references! Very well. 
4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. What's that, your friggin' area code? Yes, on the moon, our area codes will blow your effing mind. Blow it right out of your skull. Don't call us, we'll call you from space. Oh, great and powerful darts! How shall we defeat your nemesis, the dreaded Marigishtar? Tell us, almighty one, so that we may do your bidding. My friends, there is only one way to defeat that douchebag. We will do him! Um, did you say... do him? I said do him! What part of do him don't you understand, douchebag? We're gonna do him. Together! All four of us! We're gonna do him. Do him hard and thoroughly. Do him so hard that he will feel it in the morning when he wakes up. Um, boss, are you serious? Yes, you asshole. What, you want me to do you too? No, sir! Then keep your mouth shut, man. Okay, man? Yeah. So we're gonna do him on motorcycles. Won't that be kinda... uncomfortable? What the f*** <coughs> are you talking about, man? Yeah, I, I don't want to do anybody on a motorbike. Do! Are you saying do or duel? Do! So you want us to do Marek? Yes! And I will stand here and watch you do him! Well, okay then. Let's go do Marek, I guess. Do him, douchebags! So what are we? So, which of us shall ask Yugi to hand over the puzzle? As our newest member, I nominate Dan Green. Hi. Interesting choice, Bakora. Yes, well, I thought that if anybody should show you how ridiculous your plan is, it should be the most inappropriate member of our team. Fly, Dan Green! Fly away and take the puzzle from that diminutive high school student! Fly toward victory! Okay. Hello, I'm Dan Green. You may remember me from such animated products as Stepmother's Sin and The Little Panda Fighter. Can I help you with something? Oh dear, I completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Come on, Dan, think. Hmm. I know, I'll just activate my sexy man voice. That usually works. I'm going to do my laundry. Could I have some change? I guess that's okay. So, is that everything? Um, yes. I think so. It didn't work! Personally, I am shocked. Dan Green, you are a most disappointing villain. Okay, everybody, hold it. We're here on behalf of darts. Mm-hmm. Frig! Who let all these nerds in here? Well, it is an anime convention. What the f*** <coughs> do you guys want? We're here to deliver a message from our master. Yes, apparently we have to do you. Do me? Yeah, it's... Kinda weird. It's also never gonna happen because I'm not gay. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Come on, Maddox. We all know. Know what? Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah, <laughs> we know. I definitely know. Know what? What the hell does everybody know? Maddox, I believe it's time you came out of the closet. Oh, what? Just because a guy likes to dress effeminately and hang around with another extremely attractive man and read yaoi and flaunt his gorgeous abs and stroke a phallic symbol suggestively in every other scene that automatically makes him gay? Kinda. Yeah, kinda. Yep. Ah, you're all pricks. Well, then, no wonder you like us so much. Ah, I am 100% straight! Honestly! So can we do you now? Get out of my hotel room! Oh, no!